Good evening, folks. This video was recorded on a security camera, and that's amazing. Link to their page is below. They seem like good people. But do any of you know why I'm showing you this? Yes, it is gorgeous auroral displays from November earlier this year, another outstanding display of space weather. If you recall, this was another of the storms that went too big for its britches. The Earth took too big a hit given the flare and solar wind impact data. And that's due to Earth's weakening magnetic field, the foundation topic of this channel. So here's a little lesson in auroral colors. I even made the colors accurate, the depth of space they occupy in the sky. So the biggest and highest are the red aurora, ionized oxygen. The most beautiful are the green, snake-like ones closer to the ground, nowhere near as tall, and they are also oxygen ionized by the solar wind particles. But how is that possible, both oxygen? Well, you know how you breathe O2? Oxygen can be singular, or how about ozone, O3? Or in other compounds like CO2? That's how oxygen can glow differently. The pink and other rare skirt colors on the bottom of the green are a little bit scarier, and those indicate that there is deep, deep particle penetration. So again, I ask, why am I showing you this video? Should be kind of obvious now, huh? There are significant flashes of a much brighter, apparently greenish color up above the red. Three options in my head and they all suck. Most unlikely, it was a batch of oxygen from the current sheet density hitting the ionization zone as the solar storm did. In theory, it could happen right now, but I'm saying no. It could also technically be lifted oxygen layer, which should only happen as Earth's magnetic pole shift allows atmospheric loss to space, but there is not much evidence we have gone that far down the road yet either. I think the best explanation is that there was a sudden pulse of particle penetration through the cusp and into this region, allowing the uppermost particles to ionize more strongly than usual, glowing closer to a full visible spectrum of whitish green. After all, if you could put enough energy up there, they would all be glowing white. So folks, we have two strong of auroras over and over again. We keep seeing the rare pink events to the point I'm not even sure they're rare anymore, and now we have a new phenomenon to watch for, topside auroral brightening. I'll see you in the morning for the Daily Show. Be safe, everyone.